Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to play another episode of Subnautica. So what I'm working on right now, I need to make a, um, whatchamacallit. I want to upgrade my Seamoth. And right now it's at Mark 1, so I can go down to like 300 meters. But I need to upgrade it all the way. Um, Mark 2, Mark 3, because I do want to actually go check out this alien facility I was trying to figure out what to do next, and I came across, um, in my data bank, I came across this right here, this entry of, like, different alien facilities, and it looks like my next stop is going to be the disease research facility at 800 meters, and right now, I just don't have the equipment to uh, survive at 800 meters, so I want to upgrade my Seamoth. Either I do that, or I craft a Cyclops, which I'm going to do eventually anyway, but I don't have the fragments. I'm missing a fragment for the Cyclops, so if I can get that done... Um, in today's video as well. That would be really really cool. I can also see about crafting a prawn suit which should not be too difficult and also Maybe a reinforced dive suit. I think I might need that as well. So basically I'm just preparing for this alien facility I also need to craft some beacons as well, but uh, First things first. We got to worry about our Seamoth right now as you can see I got a couple upgrades on it so I have um I mean, I upgraded the storage module, and I've got Mark 1 on there, so I need to upgrade that to 2 and 3. But to do that, I need Magnetite, it looks like. I need two of those. And I don't think I have any left. I had a couple. Right? I don't have it on me, do I? Magnetite, I must have left it in, like, one of these lockers. No, it's not in there. Didn't leave it in there. Here, I'm just going to, like, check all of these, because, honestly, I could have left... If I have any magnetite, I could have left it anywhere. It's not in here. Looks like I might... Nope. So far, and no luck. So I might have to go find some magnetite, is what it's looking like. That's lead. And I don't really remember... I mean, didn't I get those from, like, the Jelly Shroom Cave? I'm kind of feeling like I need to go back there. And see if I can find some more magnetite. I think that's where I got them from. Here, I'm going to go check out my, uh... So I crafted this, uh, scanner room. But I don't think it's going to pick up any magnetite. Not from here. Not from here. I got a scan range of 350. Let's see. Fragment gel sack. Yeah, we only got one page, so... I don't know. I mean, I might as well go back to the, uh, Jelly Shroom Cave to see if it's there. I, I got a feeling that it's there. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, say hi to, uh, say hi to our friends. So, can I not name these guys? I want to name this- Oh, shit. Yo, he just ate that- He just ate that fish. Oh my gosh, this guy's rough. I'm gonna call him Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Frankie doesn't talk to me, but at least he doesn't try to eat me. You know what I mean? So, I'm gonna leave him be. So, that's what, um, that's what my little baby egg hatched into. Was, a uh, fucking, uh, what's that called? A shark something. What's it called? It's kind of cute, actually. Let me go back to... I think it's under Fauna, right? Alien data. No, I don't think it's here. Indigenous life forms. Fauna. Definitely a carnivore. Right? Or not. None of those guys. No, <laughs> not a herbivore. Is he a scavenger? No. Definitely not. Yeah, he's not a scavenger, but I don't really know why I'm not seeing him. Have I never scanned him before? I don't think I've ever scanned him. Let me go scan him right now. If he will, like, hold still long enough. Look at him go, dude. He's eating all my fish. A bone shark. Okay. He's a bone shark. I'm trying to scan him real quick. There we go. Isn't he cute? A large and powerful predator that lives in small groups and fiercely defends his hunting grounds. I can see that. I mean, I, I'm happy with him, you know? I wish he wouldn't eat all the food, but... I like him. I like him. But I forget he's there, because <laughs> he likes to... He, he's very vocal, and it scares me sometimes, because I forget he's around. Okay, let me see if there's anything in my... Okay, that's full. I've been filling up this, um... This reactor with acid mushrooms, and I feel like that's been going pretty well, 
right? I don't think it really matters what I put in there, does it? But I mean, those have been pretty sustainable. All right, I need to get this water bottle real quick. Wait a minute. Here we go. Grab a couple of those. So I can fill up on my water. I might need to grab some food as well. It looks like. That's what I'll do real quick. Let me grab some food. If I can get this guy. Come here, bitch. Dude, why is he so fast? I thought with my ultra-wide ultra, ultra wide fins that that would be fucking a speedster right now, but those guys are still pretty tough to catch. What about that guy? Can I... I can't eat that guy, right? Okay. I guess I, I, guess I can. That's a Gary fish. Alright, that's enough food for now. Okay, so I need to go find some magnetites, so what am I going to do? Um... I guess I need to go over to the Jelly Shroom Cave, which, if I remember correctly, I don't remember which beacon. I think it's the uh, this one. The Degassi Habitat. I think it's that one. That way? 400 meters that way? So let me grab the... Um, let me grab the Seamoth real quick. And we'll head over there, see if we can find some Magnetite. I think we're good right here. I think we'll be okay. It's really kind of tough to see. Here's a rock right here. Okay, that looks like it was gold. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to find magnetite here. Or at least I don't know if I'm going to find them inside these rocks, right? The diamond. I mean, I need all this stuff anyway, so I'm not complaining. Here we go. Magnetite. Got you. We need one more. That's all we need is one more. I mean, I might as well, like, clean up, you know? There's so much stuff here. Gold. Diamond. I might as well grab as much as I can. There we go. We got magnetite. Perfect. Grab all of these. Hopefully I don't get got by one of the crab snakes. They're ugly. What is that? What is this? Can't scan it. Can I? Oh, gold. Special equipment is required to collect this resource. Okay. Oh, wow. And this is uh, lithium? I never noticed this before. And that must be magnetite. So what do I need to mine that? Oh, nope. That guy is up to no good. So how do I mine those? That's actually pretty cool. I didn't realize I could do that. Is that guy following me? Nope. Alright, let's, uh, let's get back towards Seamoth. I've seen all I need to see. And I don't think I left anything in that, um... I mean, should I take another look? I don't think I left anything in there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Right? There's like nothing... There's nothing for me left in, uh... In this thing. I think I checked all of it. Or it looks like I didn't scan everything, though. I just saw something. I don't know what it was. Oh, I think it was one of the plants. I mean, I might as well. Okay, so let's make sure we didn't miss anything. Let's go back in here. Hopefully we don't, we don't die. Hopefully we don't die, because we died last time. All right, nothing in here. I just want to make sure I'm being thorough. Anything in the locker? Yes, sir. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Isle. Made a fiction better student in the lead, the contract still says otherwise. I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard, or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. A Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship, or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. 
I'll give Mira just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plast steel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel's share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> damn, okay. Integrating new BDA data. I didn't want to, I didn't want to talk while he was talking, but so it seems like we got another location to go to. Um, there's a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. So we got to go check that place out. I mean, he said a lot. I might have to take a another look at that. This also came in. I'm glad I actually went back down to the habitat to check it out because I missed a couple PDAs. Not surprisingly, um, this one I'm not really sure. Let's listen to it. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. Oh, damn. I asked her about it. Captain. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I've ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite mm. did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? Okay. I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. So is that how you, um... This glass, we can build a containment unit and get up close to them. Wait a minute, I do have one of those. I was just thinking, like, I... I've been looking for stalker teeth, and I know you can. I, I know you can find them lying around, but I didn't know you can actually like attack the stalkers and get their teeth from them. I guess you have to kill them. That I didn't realize, and I was gonna go test that out just now. But he mentioned the containment tank, and I do have one in my containment tank. There he goes, right there. I'm gonna call him Leroy. That's Leroy. So, is it saying that if I just like? attack Leroy, he's gonna give me the teeth? No way, right? And I'm not gonna do that. I mean, look how cute he is, right? Look how cute Leroy is. I'm not gonna attack him. I don't know if that will kill him. I'm not gonna scan him, but if I, like, if I take a swipe at him, like, is he gonna... <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, I thought I, I thought I killed him. I thought I killed that crap, uh, that crash fish. This right here, this uh, little spade fish, I don't know what that is. I have never seen that before. I do not know where that came from. But that is an ugly fish. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave Leroy alone for now. I'm going to leave him alone for now. Let me grab one of these real quick. Whoops. But now I know at least how to get more stalker teeth. I don't remember what I needed for, but it was something important. So that's at least good to know. All right, so I think we can craft something. Oh, I have to go back to the Seamoth to get that upgrade off of it. Right, like right here. Upgrades, and I could take this. Now I'm going to go upgrade it to Mark II right here, right? Okay, so Mark II, done. Now we need to um, upgrade it to Mark III. And for that, I'm going to need plasteel ingot and rubies. So let me see if I have any rubies. I should have some rubies like in here. Yeah, I've got three. Perfect. I have exactly three. Let me drop these in here. The diamonds too. Um, lead. Oh, you know what? I think I was keeping shale over here, actually. Put the gold in there. Diamond. And that should be fine. Lead. I was keeping lead over here. Okay, so what do I need? Um, I need 
what is that? Plasteel? How do I make those? I made them before, but I don't remember. Oh, I need two lithium. Okay. And to be honest, I don't think I have any lithium. I don't think I have any lithium, right? I just looked in there. No lithium. Okay, let me go check out the scanner real quick. The scanner might be able to pick up some lithium. So there was a cave, I remember, on um, one of the, I think, the Sunbeam Island. There's a cave on there. I think that was, the, I think that's the right island, but one of the islands has like a cave with a whole bunch of lithium inside. I'm not seeing any lithium. Yep, right here. Scan that, please. But how many do I need? Two? I think I need two lithium. Hopefully that picks something up. Hopefully. Oh, we got some lithium right below us. But where? Is that a, um... Where is that? Seems like it's in a cave. Oh, I might need to, uh... I might need to sleep. It's too dark. Oh, it's actually morning time. So let me just go ahead and make my way over here real quick. See if I can't figure out where that is. Here, let me, um... I guess I'll use my sea glide for now so I can move a little faster. So is there like a cave down here somewhere? It's kind of what I'm... It's kind of what it feels like. See, now I can't see the... Now I can't see it. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's right below me. Oh, snap. Dude, chill. Oh, he's on my ass. I might turn around and get me some stalker teeth real quick. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna have to look somewhere else. Because this is not... This is not the move at all. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else, I think. So I was here. And now I'm here without a flashlight. And I was running through here. I was like low on like water. And I got lost. And I was being attacked by those little um, cave walker dweller things. I don't know what that is. Can we scan it? Skyray? It's not going to let me scan it? I'm so close. It's like a bat. Like a moth bat. Presence may indicate nearby dry land. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't really seem like there's any significant purpose for those guys. Okay, okay. I thought that was a outcrop. Nope. Yeah, I think I have to go a little bit further in, but I don't want to get lost. I mean, now that I know... Oh, no. <laughs> We're not going to go down there. I mean, that looks like it's a fast way down to the sea moth, but we're not going to test that out right now. We just have to, um... I mean, we only need one lithium. I don't need to grab a whole bunch. But if I can grab maybe two or three, I feel like that would be good. But I, I really think I only need one. No, I think I need two. See? and <laughs> See? I'm not sure. What am I trying to make? The, um... Yeah, I need two. Definitely need to. I mean, I've been meaning to... Oh my god, that thing scared me. I've been meaning to come back here because I have no idea what to do here. Oh, insert cube. I don't have a cube. I have a cube back at the, um... At my life pod. I'll need to come back with a cube. I'm gonna put that on my to-do list. There's really a lot I need to do. I'm not seeing any... I'm not... Is he, did he just, like, jump over my head? I'm not seeing what I'm looking for at all. Maybe I need to slow down a little bit. See, this is where I start to get lost. If I go down here... I got one eye on my, my water meter. Okay, I think we're I think we're getting somewhere now. It's so dark down here. Yeah, this is where you get lost, man. 
Yep. Uh huh. But you know what? When I need to figure out how to get out of here, my new mantra is going to be like, if it's not taking you up, then you're going the wrong way. Lithium, right there. That's one. That's a diamond. That's lithium right there. I got two. Perfect. All right. So let me go grab. Let me see if I can craft this now. What do I need? That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. It would be it would suck if I crafted the wrong thing, and I used up uh, the resources I needed. Okay, I can come here now, and now I can craft Mark Three. Okay, so now our Seamoth is, I would say, I wouldn't say fully upgraded, right? I don't think it'll be fully upgraded, but. I mean, Mark III, that's pretty good. So, let's equip that. Yeah, like, it's not fully upgraded, because obviously there's two other slots, so there's other things I can do as well. I'm going to have to look into that, but for now, I feel like this is what we need. Let's go. This is the deepest I'll ever, I've ever been. That's what she said. <laughs> what is this area, by the way? Look at that. Where are we right now? I wish I had like a map of this place. All right, so we just, what is that down there? Can I get out without a, I don't need a special suit. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm only at 200 meters. I can't scan that. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a time capsule. Cool. Ooh, he gave me some fins. Anything else? That's it? I mean, that's cool. I'll take it. I already have it, but I'll take it. I gotta figure out how I can um, do that as well. It's really kind of cool that you can do that. Alright, so... Where am I going? I don't see it anymore. Beacon manager. Um, Let's... Give it another color so it'd be a little bit easier to see. Okay, right under me. Okay. Straight down. Oh man, this is intimidating. Okay, I've been here before. This is uh, like the bulb zone area. I've been here before. So, so far we're good. I think the scariest thing down here are like, um, whatchamacallit? The shark fish things. You know what I'm saying? They're really aggressive, but they're not that scary. Where am I going? I can't tell. Okay, I gotta go down here. Damn. Oh, yeah. This is not... Yeah, this is not... <laughs> this is scary. Yo, what is that? What am I looking at? Yo, that's like a big-ass spider. What the hell is that? Oh, hell no. What are spiders doing in Subnautica? We're underwater right now. And that is a big ass spider. I think it sees me. Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. What did it say? A titanium. Oh, I think I'm looking at it. Right? Yeah, oh, okay, fuck. I don't know what to do. Can I get out? Am I gonna, like, get hurt if I get out? No. Should I just take the seam off? I really don't know what to do right now. I don't want to get attacked by that thing. Damn, you know what I don't have? Fuck, I don't have a... I don't have my, um, my laser cutter. Ooh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it. Maybe not. Let's see. How do I get in here? Can I go into here? No? Bro, is there really no way to get inside on this side? Do I have to go around to that thing? Oh, he sounds scary. Why does he have to be right here? I might not need a laser cutter. How do I get in? I don't want to go around. What about here? This looks like a 
Damn it. All right, let me pick this up. Integrating new PDA data. Are there anything in these crates for me to scan? Doesn't look like it. How do I get in? Oh, he sees me. Yep. Fuck. I think he saw me, but... Where did he go? Okay, I think I can go right here. I can hear him. And he sounds so scary. Alright, there's a lot here. Can I not open that? Okay, let's grab that. Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? Did we call it right? Feeling itchy? Listeners? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out. Dissolve us into jelly. It's Did I scan that or not? Bacteria. Okay. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. They're infected. I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? Welcome aboard, Captain. I need some time to think. Okay, was that it? So he, they were talking about... Um, where is it? Data bank. An infection. And I'm infected. Okay, we learned that we went into that alien facility and we got um, that thing stabbed us. The terminal. And it said I was infected. So I'm pretty sure that's what they were talking about. I don't know yet. I want me to cut some of them open for you. Yeah, I don't think there's any other information in there. So there might be, he might have figured out a way to, um, to like live with it or to cure it maybe. Okay, so I got something out of that, but I don't know how to get up here. Yo, that thing is... Oh, that is straight out of, like, a nightmare. Here we go. Is there any dangerous hanging, like, vines in here? Okay. Let's go in here. Let's see what we got in here. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Let's listen to that. chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. It means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hold up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torigal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Bro, he's so hard to move around. Okay, so I don't know what happened. It sounds like they were trying to, like, study. Um, Bart was trying to study the infection. Alright, I need to get out of here, but like, I'm having a hard time maneuvering. A really hard time. And to be honest, I don't really even remember how I got in here. <laughs> so, I might be panicking a little bit. How did I get in here? It wasn't through here. Was it down? Can I go down here? Oh, wow. Creature egg. Oh, there's a lot of... I don't think... Damn, I gotta like... Oh, I can't stay down here. I gotta go back. Bro, how did I get in here? This is so annoying. It's, I didn't come... Oh, fuck, dude. That makes me so mad. Yeah, I came in right here. Yo, you have to be kidding me. <laughs> I can only laugh at myself. I can only laugh. I'm pretty sure, like, when I was here earlier... I thought that was closed. I didn't realize it was... 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little worried about my my intelligence, but uh Okay, so now I know. Let me actually go back real quick. Oh, he's trying to get me. Hey, buddy. You can't get me from over there, can you? No, you can't. No, you can't. Because you're stupid. Right? He ain't get. I don't think he can get me. I cannot believe... I, uh... I really died that way. No! You bitch. Get away from my... Damn it. I need to repair it. Okay. Did I bring my repair tool? Yes, I did. Let's repair this before things get worse. I heard something scream. Oh. Is that the wizard? Here, let me um actually... Since I have this as well, let me go ahead and charge that up. And then we're going to go back in. I think there is one more room I need to go to. Okay, let's do it. There is one more room. The second floor, I just got to go in here. Okay. And then we just got to... There was like stairs right here. If I can make it down. Okay. Alright, let's see. There's like a whole bunch of little things in here I can grab that are not really functional. But make good decorations, so... Oh, pick up... Oh, pick up the orange tablet. I wonder what the orange tablet is. Pick that up. I guess I'm gonna have to like build like a observatory or something. In my base. I think that's it. Okay, so what was that that I just picked up? Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, neither appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glider in one hand. A jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting Yo, off into the darkness. <laughs> I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Wait, what is he talking about? What happened? Um, so they got attacked by something that was quote unquote bigger than a cyclops. So like a leviathan maybe. An alien kraken. Um... Then I thought I saw a light. The rupture threw me clear off the habitat, and the monster turned and bore down on me. Tentacles came within reach. Mater appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. Um, the last I saw, the last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Yo, that is a badass way to go out. So she didn't make it. I hope maybe Bard has some clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. My oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has a scent of my blood. Damn. Are they talking about the, um... Whoa. What the hell? That was not cool. I thought we were friends, wizard. Dude, just really, uh... I didn't know they can do that. Let me get out of here. He warped me out of the, um, the sea moth. Oh god, how do I get out of here? Oh, here it is. Here's a way out. Here's a way out. Thank goodness. What is that? Red thing. Is that a ruby? Oh, 
Oh, that guy is so close. Yeah, so Ruby, let's grab that real quick. Oh, there's a lot around here. Okay. Let us get out of here. I should probably explore this area, but for now, for now, I think we're just going to call this a win. I got what I needed. And... And I'm happy about that. We explored the uh, the habitat, the 500 meter habitat. And the next thing we're going to do now that our sea moth is fully upgraded, we're going to go find that alien facility in the next video. But until then, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.